Every year, 300 to 400 people drown in the UK, and around 40 to 50 of them are children and teenagers. A further 65 to 90 people drown in Ireland each year. Most drownings happen at inland water sites like rivers, canals, reservoirs or quarries. But people drown almost anywhere that there's water. Beach lifeguards rescue hundreds of people from the sea every year. But there are no lifeguards at the rivers, quarries and lakes where most of the drownings happen. Eighty percent of people who drown are male. And most people who drown can swim. So why do they drown? One of the reasons people drown is that they don't know what to look for to decide if the water is safe or not before they jump in. Some of the dangers are obvious, like if you can see waves crashing against rocks, or if there's shopping trolleys and rubbish in the water. But you can't see beneath the surface, and you can't see the temperature of the water either, and that's where you get caught out. People don't realise how the water temperature affects your ability to swim. Even if you're a good swimmer, and the water in places like rivers, lakes, and in the sea doesn't really get warm, even in summer, apart from the shallow areas around the edge, which can encourage you to go deeper, where the cold suddenly chills your muscles. You can't do anything to stop your body's reaction to cold water. It affects everyone in the same way, whether you can swim well or not. And just because you got away with it last time, it doesn't mean you'll get away with it next time. Once you're in the water, your heart starts to race, and you gasp for air as you can't control your breathing. Like it does in the swimming pool, but the colder the water is, the more difficult it is to breathe properly. If your face goes under the water now, or if you splash the water near your mouth and you inhale, you'll start drowning straight away. Once you've got your breath under control, you might be able to swim for a little while, or the muscle cooling could happen straight away. Cold muscles in your arms and legs make them more difficult to coordinate. And before you know it, your body isn't doing what your brain is telling it to do. Swim back to the edge. If no one is there to help you, or if your friends don't know how to help you without the same thing happening to them, you won't get out. That's what happened to this guy. There were four of us. Me, Tom, Charlie and Sam. Always hang out together. Always around each other's houses, usually playing COD on the Xbox. Anyways, it was during that warm weather we had, remember? Pure sun, day after day. <sighs> Probably why we were where we were. Down by the river. You know what it's like, those places. Always seem better, didn't they, when it's hot outside? Charlie said Bella and Holly were going to meet us down there. But shocked, the girls were in no show. Typical Charlie thinks he's a legend. Always making out like someone fancies him. Still, we were down there, so we thought we may as well hang around for a bit. That's when Tom had one of his usual stupid ideas. Dared us to swim across the river. To be honest, for him it didn't seem that stupid. The river's not that wide. And you can see the bottom in loads of places. So I said, go on then. I know, what a muppet. Can't resist the challenge of me. So I ditched the trainers in the shorts. Didn't want to get them wet and my mum would kill me. Left the shirt on though. This one. Didn't think the water would reach up that far. Thing is though, water's always deeper than it looks. Suddenly I couldn't feel the bottom anymore. It went straight under, whoosh. Water went into my mouth too. That's when I really started to panic. Really lost it. Guess that was my second mistake. Thing is, water looks like a great place to cool off, but just under the surface it isn't cool, it's just freezing. Makes your fingers go funny, like you're losing control. And then there's the current. It's like trying to drag you down and you get your feet all tangled up in the weeds and it's almost impossible to get out.
which is why I didn't get out. If the unstoppable effect of cold water is enough to cause you to drown, think how much worse you can make it for yourself by jumping in. Every year, people drown and are seriously injured tombstoning or jumping off cliffs, bridges or harbour walls. If you get the jump wrong, Is he okay? If the water conditions change. Grab it. If the water is shallower than you think it is, or rubbish has been dumped or washed into where you plan to jump. By the way, if you're squeamish about broken and disfigured limbs, look away now. You may only have seconds to get to safety. And if you're not somewhere with lifeguards or with an organized group, rescue could be hours away. If you're watching this thinking, yeah, but what are the chances of that happening to me? And you're willing to take that chance with your own life? You might want to think about the risks you're taking for your friends and family, because drowning destroys those who are left behind. She was a very popular person. Probably like the loveliest person out of the world, do you know what I mean? She was nice to be around, always had a smile on her face. It's just hard to know all the plans like she had for life and that like we'd speak about doing like, mm -hmm. oh we're going, going to go college, college and going to girl and holidays like that. and that's just heartbreaking really. It's not fair, it's not right at all. And still to this day it's heartbreaking. I didn't think it was true at first sight. I definitely didn't believe it. It's just wrong. It does still hurt this mm -hmm. year. Everybody was going down there thinking it was like fun because it was summer, thinking like, it was something to do, all jumping the river, like people were like doing flips and everything, like just jumping off high bits and everything, like just anywhere they could really. It's what everyone really did. The end thing at that time was to go down in Fatfield River and jump in for the crap. It really was just innocent fun, mm -hmm. just something to do. It was fun. Like people thought like, oh yeah, we'll go down there, we'll have some fun in that. Like nothing can happen that way. And then like obviously Chloe's went in because loads of people was going in and then and she but she couldn't swim. But obviously because there was people around her she thought she'd be okay. And then, like, Tony Bear, the girl, like, she knew, she jumped in after her, and then, obviously, the same happened to her. It's the current, it's the current what took them. The water was low that day and all, apparently, so they didn't think anything of it. But people don't understand, like, how strong the tide is underneath, because in that river there's, like, two tides, and there's a current underneath what, like, spins around, so obviously people don't understand, like, how strong rivers can be. And she's thought well, if everything everyone else is alright, I'll be alright. I've got people here to like help us. But obviously it was a case of just all so quick really. I actually went down to the river and I stayed there until Chloe was found. And I just didn't believe it at all. And when the bananas that they were dead, like it was I couldn't like believe it. Like it was just strange because we we're talking like one week and the next week. Like they're just gone. How would you feel if someone so special and amazing was taken away from you? How would you feel? It's really important that people know the dangers of uh, water and rivers because at the end of the day it can end lives. We don't want any more deaths in the river we are. We don't want other people to go through the experience we went through because we don't want other people to feel how all of us have felt about losing two of our friends. Both girls died in the river. Remember what happened. Just think before you do things. It's a beautiful day. 
and they, they entered the quarry through a hole in the fence and they were just chilling out for whatever reason. Jay decided to, to go a bit nearer the edge to have a look over and uh, the edge gave way and he rolled into the water which was severely cold. Uh, his body went into shock but his friends, they didn't give up hope and they did their best to get Jay out of the water. They were then taken to hospital suffering from hypothermia themselves. Our life's changed forever. And there's not a day goes by when we don't, we don't think of Jay. So, uh, it was a pleasure to, to have him as a son. The initial impact was just one of shock and horror. When I discovered that it was drowning that had been the cause of death, it was really bizarre because David was petrified of drowning. I just don't like to think about the fact that that's what happened to him because I just can't imagine what must have been going through his mind. He must have known that we were going to die. You can still recall it like it was yesterday. My mum and dad just being in absolute pieces. Sometimes I can hear a song on the radio and just cry because it just touches upon it. I absolutely just do not want people to have to go through what me and my family have been through. It just has a huge impact on every aspect of your life. He'd want to be remembered for being David Cullen. It just makes me smile when I think about him. He'd obviously had a drink on his way walking to Hyde Park. For whatever reason, he decided that he was he wanted to go for a swim. And then he went under the water once, came up. He must have realised that something was happening to his body and shouted out that he didn't think he was going to make it back to the shore but it was all happened very quickly. When the police officers arrived on that Monday morning, I thought he'd been knocked off his Boris bike. Uh, I didn't think he'd drown because he was always a strong swimmer. Well, he was the only son. We both lost our best friend. We've lost a future. The thing is, there are loads of ways to have fun in the water and even get an adrenaline fix without taking too many risks. Like co-steering, using lifeguarded water sites or swimming with an organised group or at a challenge event. So, why take the risk? <laughs>